the HDR calibration app on Windows 11 is a game changer, man. We now have finally perfect HDR on the PC. Finally. It took a long time. <laughs> this was announced back in February. It's just crazy, but we finally have it, man, and it works amazing. It does have one flaw that I'm going to explain to you, but it's something that I can resolve very easily. Uh, is the black level because we have an OLED TV. So what changed? I already did a Windows 11 calibration video using the CRU app, then another one adjusting the slider, the in-game slider for this LG C1 7075. So what changed with this app? The mid-tones and that now we can adjust the black level perfectly. So when I first tried this Windows 11 Auto HDR working, because it was not working before. I tried before, the first time, it was not working. So for some reason it just got fixed, maybe an, up, an update or something. So then I tried and I thought, man, this is working very well because I'm getting the peak brightness right. But the mid-tones, they were looking uh, a little bit raised to me. The mid-tones. They were not looking good and also the shadow detail was too much so i knew something was not perfect but yeah it was looking so good still but now with this calibration app we are able to get everything perfect so now everything is perfect and i'm going to show you all the settings exactly what you need to do to get your auto hdr this is only going to be relevant right now so far only relevant for auto HDR. Why? Because there is no game right now on the PC that is going to support system level calibration because there was no system level calibration before September 20, which was the release date of this app, which I announced like two weeks ago after I did my research and I knew it was coming on the 20. I forgot. <laughs> Somebody remember on the remember me on the comments. So there's no game right now on the PC that is going to support system level calibration, but hopefully they will come. And I, I would prefer every single game, I would prefer every single game that comes out to support the system level calibration because your Horizon Forbidden West, when it comes out, I mean, I wish every single game supports the system level calibration and they do something to fix God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn, these 10,000 master games, which is just ridiculous because there's no 10,000 in this display, so the display needs to do tone mapping or, dy or dynamic tone mapping and it doesn't work flawlessly. You get a lot of clipping, it doesn't work. So I wish every single game, they do something to support this but we're gonna have to wait for real HDR games to support this uh, calibration we're gonna have to wait for developers to hopefully HDR becomes more more prevalent more common so they they care about it so I'm gonna show you in this video some examples I'm gonna show you the settings uh, to get how you can get the black level perfect on your TV, which is not going to be exactly the same as on my TV, but I'm going to explain you how you can get it right on yours. And I'm going to share the settings on the TV. And then some examples, like four games examples. And also I'm going to show you all the supported games that I have right now running on my PC, ready to, ready to open. And it, it is significant. It is a lot of them. And, and all of them are working flawlessly so first real quick just to recap uh, we need to use HGIG and this time so the first vi the previous video I did it was like first first try first impressions but now I'm gonna show you uh, exactly the settings uh, so yeah HGIG and the screen brightness I would suggest you to lower this screen brightness at least two clicks. This is going to vary depending on your TV and I'm going to explain you that how to get that here on the app. So we want to use this and we want to use color as always 55 auto detect 
warm 50. I have this blue light filter for the calibration so I can look at that white screen which is so bright that I don't want to look at it. So I'm going to show you how to get here, how to get this app very easily. You need to be on the Windows 11 Insider program. It doesn't work if you are not on the Insider program. The first video I, I made about this app, the app was not making any changes. If you are not on the Insider program, because you need to install the latest update, which is the 22H2 update. After you update your Windows 11 to that version, then you're going to come here. Let me show you. You're going to come here, just right click. These are all the games I have right now supporting the Auto HDR install on my PC, which is awesome. So we right click on the desktop, go to display settings. And I know I have the camera move, is so I don't show uh, email address and that is showing here on the screen. So you come here to use HDR and you scroll down to HDR uh, display calibration. So when you click here, you're going to be directed to this page here. So on this page, you just go to this Windows HDR calibration, get in store app. And we are going, I have the app already installed, so I just open it. So now on this app, let me close this window so I can then change to full screen for you. So I'm going to change this to full screen. Let me see if you can see it on the video. Yeah, let me just move it a little bit. Okay. So on this uh, app, here's the most important thing. We're going to, of course, lower this first slider to the minimum. But this minimum slider is 0 0.005, okay? Let me see. Yeah, so 0 0.005 nits. So this is on OLED TV. So they need to do an update uh, for this app to select OLED TV as an option. Or just give you the option to lower this to 0. Because at 0 0.005, you can still see the logo. And the idea of this uh, minimum luminance uh, screen is that you can get absolutely zero, like no, no pattern at all. That's what they are even indicating here. So on an OLED TV, we need zero nits. So what I would suggest you to do, and what I did it myself, is send a feedback to Microsoft. Hey, I have an OLED TV, you need to fix this part. Send the feedback to the uh, to the insider program, to the you know to the app, so they they fix that. But I have the solution. It's not difficult. We just need to lower the black level of the TV. So what I do is I lower that to 48, and I adjust it. So I lower this to 48. Usually my TV in 51 still has perfect blacks. So maybe on your TV, it's going to be 47, okay? So my TV on 51 is perfect blacks. If I raise it to 52, I no longer have perfect blacks, usually. So here I have to lower this to 48. So a safe bet is just lower that two clicks. But just double check in this screen. So I lower this to 48 and I also, I am also going to come here to the game optimizer, uh, fine tune dark areas. And what I do here, and of course, you need to do this testing on a completely dark room. Completely dark room, so you can notice the changes. So then I'm going to use this fine-tuned dark areas, which is basically able to lower or raise the black level, but in smaller increments, okay? So I start increasing these fine-tuned dark areas. Still have perfect black in one, two, three still perfect black four still perfect if i raise this to five then i see the logo very very faint but i can see it so then that means that if i lower it to four i no longer see the logo so the black level of my tv is right now absolutely perfect perfectly calibrated 
so it is crushing this 0 0.005 nits it is crushing that because we want perfect black on this screen very important so then the next two screens is 780 780 why with 780 windows is going to uh, assign 790 for some reason with this app is going to change the maximum luminance of windows to 790 actually and i'm going to show you that so we select here 780 for the maximum i'm not going to save the changes because i already did it and then on the next one 782 here you do the same 780 and this is a big deal this screen here because this is the screen that um sets up the mid tones because when you have full brightness on the screen that's what's going to give you the, the perfect mid-tones. Previously, by using the CRU app, I have that option to set up that mid-tones, but it was not being saved to Windows 11. The only thing that it was being saved was the peak brightness metadata, but not that one. And the reason I know, I know that is because I see the changes now on the mid-tones. And on this color saturation screen, I would recommend you to just leave it at zero but if you like a more colorful game you feel free to play around with this uh, slider I see the colors are just perfect I, I, I don't I don't want overly saturated colors so that's it that's all you do you hit, hit next here and you finish and save your profile that's it so I'm not going to do that I'm going to close this this app and I'm gonna show you the examples that I have here. So these are all the games I have right now installed, ready to go with awesome HDR, awesome. So open world games I have here, Sleeping Dogs, Watch Dogs 1 and 2, GTA 5, uh, we have uh, B Batman Arkham Knight, uh, Spider-Man, which looks phenomenal, it's just, so good man Witcher 3 perfect Rise of the Tomb Raider we have Metro Last Light and Metro 2023 Prey uh, we have these Souls like games uh, perfect Code Vein Neo 1 Dark Souls 3 uh, Still Rising and Mortal Shell all of these games right now are just flawless absolutely perfect just beautiful and I'm gonna show you some examples here so we are going to start here with uh, Dark Souls 3 so you see let me let me take a look at the, at the recording let me move this let me let me get it closer actually let me, um, let me turn off the lights and, and show you this better show you the screen better instead of my face let me turn off the lights here. So, let me move the camera better here. So we have here Dark Souls 3, which was looking, Dark Souls 3 was looking overly bright. The mid-tones, without this uh, app, they were looking overly bright. Let me close the, yeah, I took a screenshot with the, with the numbers, with the afterburner numbers. Okay, so we have, you see here, we have this big luminance now. It says 780, and the max CLL is 797. So that's what we want. This max CLL should be 800 nits, because that's what this LG C1 can do. Of course, if you have a C2 uh, or a G1, that might be different. Let me, okay, that's good enough. So that's Dark Souls 3. It's pretty good. All the cloud, all the look at this highlight details here. Um, you can see this very bright, and you can still see the objects that are in between the character and the cloud. So what that means is that this is not clipping, and it's so awesome because these branches, the branches of the trees, are so fine. Uh, they are fine detail, and they are perfectly visible. There's nothing clipping. The mid-tones are perfect. Let me show you another one. 
Let's take a look at GTA 5. Look at this beauty, man. Look at these clouds here. They are super bright on the edge. Super bright on the edge, but there's nothing clipping here. You can see all the details of the clouds. And you see that sun, which is orange. It's super bright. It's beautiful. And you can see this crane here. The details of the crane, which is very fine detail in between us and the highlights, which is awesome. On the video, of course, it might look blown out, but this is just perfect. Let me show you another one. This is uh, Batman. Look at Bar Batman Arkham Knight. It's just looking phenomenal. And here we see the same behavior. 797 max estimated uh, CLL. And this is just awesome, man. Beautiful. All this signs here are super bright and they are detailed even on the distance when you're looking at this this objects here on the distance on the recording looks blowing out maybe uh let me <laughs> you can see it closer they look perfect you yeah? know just look perfect let's take a look at still rising i was very impressed i've been playing this game remember i i told you man this game is looking so bad man it's just awful the anti-aliasing is just blurry i was so unhappy with how this game was looking and now look at this thing it's a beauty all the cloud details just fantastic and you get such a great hdr effect because the rest of the image is just the the luminance is just perfect like you don't see an overly bright character and look at the reflections here the reflections of the sun they have so much detail because it's not bright everywhere. They have this fine uh, texture details. So it is popping in a beautiful way. All the lights are popping in a beautiful way. All these reflective uh, textures are just beautiful. Just beautiful. And the game here is calling for 797. Let's see another shot from this game, which is just fantastic. Here, look at this me let me put it farther away so here for example another thing that i noticed with this is that not every every single scene is calling for the maximum peak brightness not every single scene before with what i was doing every single scene that have any light source whatsoever it was calling for the maximum peak brightness now you see more separation on the highlights are not all maximum of peak brightness so now we see here 758 and these reflections, look at this, uh, these textures are just beautiful because they are reflecting the light with granularity. They are, they are not like solid uh, reflective surface. They have a lot of texture details with this wood material and it's just beautiful. Look at this, all these reflections, the reflections of this wood here. It's so beautiful, man, so beautiful. All the in between the woods here, you see it's very bright, very bright, very bright. It's just beautiful. And the character itself, it is, uh, you know, it has that ray trace reflection. It's just uh, looking fantastic. Of course, the performance of this game is still trash. <laughs> it's just not good enough. So now look at this. So now we do have 797 